Hey, good morning, Zion family. It's Lorian. I am here still in Oregon. Remember from last week, I am on vacation. Um, and actually today, I am starting the long drive back to South Dakota. And um, I am headed for home. And um, when I'm not working at church or school where you usually see me, I do have a home that I live in um, with my dog, Flynn. He's back in the back seat ready to go home as well. Um, and we live in a home and it's nice to be home. Um, it's nice to go home, especially after you've been away for a while. So I'm looking forward to it, but I have a house where I, um, have a bedroom that I sleep in and a kitchen that I make food in and a living room that we hang out and watch TV in and visit with friends. Um, it's really nice to be home. Um, and so you guys all have a home. You have a home that you go to and you probably have a bedroom that's decorated how you like it and have your toys and things and your family is there and that's so awesome. Um, when we have a home, we have an address and hopefully you know your address. Um, we all have an address and that's uh, a place where we can be found um, with by the post office when people mail us letters or um, when you're a grown up you get lots of bills in the mail which is not that fun um, but packages from friends and birthday presents that comes to your home address um, so but I want you to know today that you also have another home do you have any idea what that is where your other home is it's heaven you're right. So we have a home in heaven and one day we'll be there with Jesus um, because he loves us and um, we are his children. We will get to go home. Um, our home on earth has an address, um, but our address is uh, in heaven as well. We have an address there as well because God is waiting for us there. Um, and we, how do we know how to get home? That's something. Um, when we're traveling, we often use a map. Um, I'm going to be using the map on my phone, on Google Maps, because we're pretty technologically savvy nowadays. And um, I don't have a big map anymore to follow, but uh, I'm going to follow the map on my phone. And that helps me to know where to go. It helps me to know which roads to take and where I should turn and um, other things along the way where I might stop and grab lunch, all those sorts of things. A map helps us know where to go and how to get to where we're going. And my map's going to help me to get home um, in the next couple days as I'm driving. We also have a map that helps us to get to our heavenly home. Do you have any idea what that is? The Bible. Yes. The Bible is our map that tells us how to get home. It tells us um, how we live our lives here and how we follow God and um, what he has done for us. And it will one day help us um, to know the way home. Um, and we can't get there on our own. The only way we can get home to heaven is to follow God's word and to um, live our lives in accordance with that. And um to follow him and his son. And that's how we know the way to get home. That's how we know about what God has done for us through Jesus, how he died on the cross for our sins to forgive us um, and give us that eternal life. Now, when you're going to your house, when you're going home, um, a lot of times, most of the time, we lock our doors when we leave. So how do we get in to our house? We use a key, that's right. So we have uh, keys that get us into our homes. The same is true for our heavenly home, except it's not a regular key, like um, the kind that we use in our front doors. The key is actually a person. Do you know who the person is that helps us to get to our heavenly home? Yes, Jesus Christ is the key. He's the only key. He's the only way to get to heaven. We go through him because of what he did when he washed our sins away by dying on the cross and rising again. He provides the way for us to get into our heavenly home. It's through him. And it's not because we deserved it. It's not because we did anything to earn it. It's just because he loves us and he wants that relationship with us. And that's so awesome. So, I want you to think about that today as we look at our story. Our story today is called Homecoming Hopes. It's the return from exile. It's found in Ezra and Nehemiah, and I will put that in the comments um, where you can find that story. Um, but we're talking about how God keeps his word. And um, the verse for today is Nehemiah 931, and it says, You are a gracious and merciful God. 
and he is certainly gracious and merciful to us. Um, we fail him every day and he never stops loving us and giving us second chances and helping us to do better. So we give God thanks for that. So let's go ahead and pray and thank God for that today. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much uh, for all the love and compassion and mercy that you show us, um, especially through your son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you for providing us a heavenly home with you, Lord. And we ask um, that you would help us to follow your roadmap, to follow the Bible, and to help us to to live lives that um, that show uh, your love for us and help us to show that love to other people. We thank you for providing Jesus to be the way to heaven um, and help us to just share that good news with other people so that we can fill up that heavenly home with all of our friends and loved ones um, through your Holy Spirit's uh, leading and guidance. Um, please help us to have a good day. Be with us as we store, study this lesson today with our families. Um, and uh, we just ask you to bring us back together again next week. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, everybody. We are going to hit the road um, headed for South Dakota. So we'll be home in a couple days and we are excited to be home. So think, keep thinking about that heavenly home too. God bless you and have a fantastic Sunday. Bye.